In this video, I wanna show you how you can get the best out of your Insta360 ONE X2, so best quality footage, and I'll just show you what things you can do to set it up as well and to get started. So as it goes with any camera really, you want to make sure that the lens is clean and that also means water droplets. So the, Insta the Insta360 ONE X2, it's hard to say that, Insta360 ONE X2 is waterproof, but if you use it in the rain, you're obviously going to get water droplets on it and then the quality of the footage is not going to be as good as if the lens was completely clear. So you'll see all the water droplets on the lens. So you want to make sure that you clean that as much as possible and just try not to film when it's raining because it just the footage just won't look as good the other thing is not to use a lens guard with the one x2 so insta 360 do sell various ones i think there's two i can't remember which ones they are but if you do use them it is going to reduce the quality of the footage because you're putting an extra lens on top of the actual lens itself so um, it's recommended not to actually use those lens guards which is a bit strange that, that they sell them but i guess some people would prefer to just keep the um, the lens protected and just have that little bit, uh, that little dipping quality. But if you want the best quality footage, then don't use a lens guard on the One X2. The other thing is making sure that when you take the compartments apart, so for example, the battery, if you're changing the battery or you're changing the uh, memory card, make sure that when you put it back together, that everything is snapped in properly so i just put that back on and you can see that the there's a little orange slither here which shows that it's not fully it shows that it's not fully closed so you want to make sure that you push everything back and that you can't see any orange bits in any of these um clip clippy sections <laughs> clippy sections um, just make sure you can't see any orange because that means it's not fully closed and then if you go and submerge it in water then that's not going to be good for the camera obviously it make, means that it's not going to be waterproof anymore so yeah when you take it apart just make sure that you really clip it back in and then you'll see that the orange goes away and it's good to go So one of the benefits of using a 360 camera is getting different angles and perspectives um, no matter where you hold the camera. And one of the things that I love about Insta360 360 cameras is the fact that you get this invisible selfie stick. And that basically means that when you're holding it out, you're holding the camera up, you can't see the stick when you're holding it so it doesn't get in the way of your shot. And it's basically in the blind spot of the lens. So anything that protrudes past the width of the camera is gonna be in your shot. But the, uh, the invisible selfie stick is just the same width as the camera itself. So you can't see it in your shot, which is great. So if you're gonna be using the Insta360 ONE X2, then do get the invisible selfie stick from Insta360 because it does mean that you're not gonna see it when you're holding the camera. Now the other thing that you really want to do is make sure that you're filming on a bright day and that really goes for any kind of action camera because the sensors are so small they don't do very well in low light so if you're shooting on a day which is quite cloudy or it's quite dull not that you can help it it's just going to make the quality of the footage look a little bit not look as crisp and not look as sharp and not look as good so do try and film on a day where it's quite bright or you've got a lot of light and then the quality of your footage is going to look that much better than if you were filming in low light or on a dull day so now on to the actual camera settings so the best camera settings in order to get the best quality footage is really simple you just want to make sure that you've got the camera set to auto exposure and you want to shoot in 5.7k 30 fps now you can shoot in 4k which goes up to 50 fps and then also 3k which goes up to 100 fps but if you want the highest quality footage then you want to shoot in 5.7k 30 and also in terms of color profile so into 360 recommend that you use the vivid color profile because that's going to give you the best kind of colors um 
and make the footage look as best as it can. So they're pretty much the camera settings. There's not really much else that you need to do. The other thing is not shooting in HDR mode because that's also gonna reduce the quality of the footage. The footage, when it's not in HDR mode, actually looks really good and the exposure, if you're using auto exposure, it compensates pretty well in terms of like the foreground and then the background. So if you have a bright sky or like a darker foreground, it's gonna do its best to kind of expose that scene properly and it actually works really well. So HDR mode isn't true HDR. So that's why it just doesn't look very good. So definitely skip HDR mode and just shoot in normal but definitely with the Vivid colour profile. So I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else that I've missed. If I have and you use this already, then do drop a comment because it'd be useful for me and for anyone else who uses the Insta360 ONE X2. But if you found this video useful, do give it a like. I did drop another video or I will be dropping another video where I talk about getting better audio quality. So this was just about getting better, the best quality footage, which audio does come into it, but I have done a video or will be doing a video on that. So do check that out. I've created an entire playlist for the Insta360 ONE X2 where I'll be adding videos quite regularly, I guess. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.